Hi everyone, this is going to be a pick a card reading. How do they feel about you? So we have group one, group two and group three, whichever pile that you feel very much more drawn to, you know, that can be the one that you choose or if there's a number that you feel very drawn to, one, two or three. So timestamps are going to be in the description section of my video. Uh, make sure you know you go there just so that you can skip to the right reading or you can watch the entire video. It is completely up to you. Just before I get started with the reading, I just want to mention that if you would like to win a free reading with me, information is going to be in the description section of this video on how you can enter. If you would like to book a private paid reading with me, information will also be in the description section of this video and my bracelets which are on Etsy, they will also be there as well. Um, so the link for that, everything's going to be in the description box below. Um, have a little peek if you wish and let's get started with this reading. So how do they feel about you? Let's start with group number one. I'm just going to very carefully move these off to the side. All right. I hope you're all doing really well today. All right, we are going to start with group Number one, let's see how they feel about you. So, we've got the Four of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune, the Strength card and the Knight of Pentacles. We've also got here from the Romance Angels, we've got Attraction. This could be the one and Retreat. So, let me just lay these out nicely. All right, so the first thing I'm seeing here is that there is definitely attraction here. However, this person does from time to time need a little bit of space and a little bit of time. This is actually very common in a lot of situations as well. So they may sort of have this sort of on and off kind of an energy where they communicate with you and then they just need some space so then they don't really message you or they may not meet up with you or they may not communicate with you. That's what I'm seeing with retreat is that you have to sort of give a little bit of space and time to this person, especially with that four of swords as well. It's about resting, retreating, meditating, taking time for yourself. So in, in terms of how they feel about you, I do feel like they do have feelings here because we also have attraction. So this shows that there are feelings there. There is a spark. There is something that they feel here. And also seeing that with the strength card as well. The strength card also indicates that they feel very strongly about you. They think that you're pretty strong as a person. And also, you know, strength is ruled by Leo. Leo is a fire energy. Fire energy is about attraction. It's about a spark. It's about chemistry. It's about intimacy. So definitely, you know, they do have that feeling towards you in terms of chemistry, in terms of feelings. Also seeing with this retreat card, you know, it's time to disconnect from the world. So this essentially means that, you know, they, they need space, they need time sometimes to just figure things out for some of them. They, you know, they might be balancing and juggling a lot of things, so they need some rest sometimes. And don't worry about that, you know, if they are not communicating with you all the time. Um, it just means that they need time and space sometimes. I'm seeing things are going to get moving because we do have... This could be the one in terms of their feelings for you, you know, it already says here you've already met the romantic partner you seek. So with this Wheel of Fortune as well, you know, the wheel is going to turn to abundance. This retreating phase with the Four of Swords is not going to last forever. You know, there could be some hot and cold on and off in terms of, you know, communication or talking to each other. It's not going to last forever. You know, that wheel is going to turn. This could also be the person, you know, this is the romantic partner. So this person has feelings for you. They also do feel like, you know, you're a really strong person. And also they do have feelings with for you because of this Knight of Pentacles, which also indicates that they do feel that you are someone they can commit to, someone that provides a lot of stability and security and strength in a relationship. And they feel a lot of attraction towards you. It's just right now they're sort of in this space where they need time and they need to retreat and just take time for themselves. So that's essentially what's happening. It doesn't mean that their feelings for you have lessened or anything like that. It just means that they need time and space for themselves and what it is that they're trying to do. So essentially that's what that means. Um, you know, so don't be worried 
I don't see it as a bad thing. I do see that, you know, there are feelings there. They have a lot of feelings there. They, you know, they do think of you in that sense. You know, there are emotions there, stability. They do feel that you're someone that they can have a very strong connection with. There's attraction there physically, but also in terms of sort of the mental side of things as well. It's not all purely physical. The Knight of Pentacles does also suggest this person can be quite slow in terms of making commitments and things like that. Again, they think things through a lot, they need time, they need space, and they do take a lot of time. I'm seeing that with these three cards especially. But they do think that you're very strong, you're very attractive, and essentially, you know, they have that attraction towards you. So this is how they feel towards you, you know, don't worry about this Four of Swords and this retreating. It's it's a part of who they are. It's It really is. And, you know, it's nothing necessarily to be worried about unless you don't like those qualities in a person. But they are quite slow to do things. And that's just the way that they are. But the way in which they do that, it's it builds them up for the long term. So even though they are quite slow to perhaps commit and take things, you know, further in the relationship, I do believe that this person has the ability to make things last long term because of the way that they are. So group number one, that is your reading. If this resonates with your situation, let me know in the comment section below. That is your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'm going to move on to the next group. All right. Group number two. Let's see what we have for you. That rhymed a little bit. A little bit it rhymed. All right. So, message wise, let's see what we have. We have got here romantic feelings. Reconciliation and heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Wow. So I see that this person has a lot of feelings for you. If you haven't already, if you're not already together, then there's a reconciliation that is going to take place. I do feel like this person has a lot of romantic feelings towards you, especially if you're not together. This is something that they are going to tell you. They're going to let you know through heart-to-heart -heart conversations. They are going to let you know that they miss you. They care about you. They have feelings for you. They dream about you. They think about you. They have a lot of romantic feelings there. And they're going to have those conversations with you. They will let you know. So it says here... Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So whatever it is, you know, that they are thinking they have some very real feelings towards you. And these are also emotional feelings as well, I feel. So it says here, someone from your past is returning into your life. So I do feel like this could be an ex um, if you haven't already reconciled. Because some of you could have already reconciled by the time you get to watching this video. This, that's another message I'm seeing. But for some of you, you may not be with this person. But I am seeing a reconciliation coming. And you guys having a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with each other. It also says here, honestly discuss your feelings with each other. So, you know, he, this person here is, you know... Here, I'm really seeing that there is going to be this opportunity for you to discuss your feelings and be very, very honest. So, you know, that's going to happen. This person is really going to open up their heart and really pour out their feelings so that you understand where they're coming from. So we have the chariot here, which is ruled by Cancer. A very caring sort of mother energy that is very nurturing and kind, but it also indicates that, you know, things are moving forward, things are progressing. I'm so sorry about my light. Like the sun is coming in and then it's going again. Typical British weather in true fashion. Um, but the sun is out now. Anyway, so the chariot here is about forward movement and progression. Some of you may even take a trip together. That's what I'm seeing. But there is a reconciliation that's going to happen because things are going to get moving forward. We have the emperor here. So I do feel like this person may not have been the most emotionally open person in the past. The emperor is ruled by Aries. Aries is a fire sign, really good at taking action, but perhaps not the best in terms of, you know, the emperor is not the best in energy in terms of opening up feelings, telling you how they feel about you you that kind of thing they're not the most open person in the entire world but I do feel like they are going to be open because you know the magician here is about manifesting things they want to manifest something with you they want to make things happen they really want to you know 
make it happen with you, they want to reconcile with you, they want to be with you, and they're going to try and take as much action as they can to do that. The magician also takes action to try and make things happen, so I'm also seeing that there. And again, more action. We've got the King of Wands. If you look at all of these cards, there is a wand. So we have like one here, we have one here, the magician, we have the King of Wands holding the wand, and also in this chariot there is a wand. So they're almost trying to make things happen. They're trying to take action essentially and with the king of wands the king of wands is an action taker a leader you know it's again fire energy trying to make things happen there's chemistry here there's a spark they feel that towards you they want to take action you know there, there's this very physical connection that i am feeling here and this is how they feel about you they feel this physical connection and they want to reconcile they want something more with you and you can see that attraction that chemistry especially in the reconciliation card well, you can sort of see it in all three cards, but this person really does feel physically very, very attracted to you and is really wanting something much deeper than just that. And I see that with the heart-to-heart -heart conversations and things are going to be moving forward in this situation. So group number two, this is how they feel about you. All right, we're going to move on to the final group, which of course is group number three. So if this resonated with your situation, let me know in the comment section below. I always love reading the comments. All right, let's move on now to group number three. Let's see what is going on in your situation. So, all right, ta-da, there we go. <laughs> right, so we have got, we've got the eight of wands on top here. We've got flirt, it is safe for you to love and chemistry. So their feelings for you are pretty strong. I mean, you know, I say pretty strong, but I mean, it, it seems to me like they have feelings for you. You know, they flirt with you. It seems quite lighthearted, but the chemistry is definitely there. So they do have some strong feelings for you. They can start as light feelings, and then I do feel like they will progress. I do feel it's safe for you to love this person because I do see that there is potential with this particular person. Flirt here essentially means that, you know, it says here, extend your light-hearted energy to others. So they really want to flirt with you. They really want to sort of extend out that energy to you. They want to give that energy to you. You know, they want to flirt with you, essentially. So they do have some physical attraction there for you, which is, you know, which is positive. Um, but more than just that, more than just the physical attraction, which actually with the Eight of Wands, Eight of Wands, Fire energy, right? It's about physical attraction and chemistry and a spark. We have also got the chemistry card, which again is fire energy. It's about chemistry, it's about attraction, this person taking action, flirting with you, right? And even intimacy as well. It says here there's a strong magnetic connection. Sorry, <laughs> there's a strong magnetic attraction here. Me trying to read upside down. Um, I would just read my screen, but it's all back to front, so, you know, <laughs> there's that. Um, so what I'm seeing here specifically, it's like a magnet, right? So on a magnet, you would traditional, traditionally have the red and the blue, and the red and blue attract each other. So what I'm seeing here is like a magnetic attraction. They feel like a magnet towards you. They feel so attracted to you. There's so much chemistry there. They want to explore that. They want to be a part of that. So here it says it's safe for you to love. So it says here, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So, you know, it is safe for you to love in this particular situation. It's safe for you to open yourself to this person. You know, um, I do see that they are going to be much more open with the Ace of Cups and really give you that love, you know, because they have that those feelings hidden deep down. They have a lot of attraction and chemistry for you. You know, the Eight of Wands is about things moving in the right direction. They want to move in the direction of you. They're going to take action to do that. So they feel, you know, they feel like they just want to go towards you. You know, all of these arrows, these wands are shooting towards one direction. That direction is you. They, they want to travel in that direction with those, you know, birds as well. So they have a lot of intense chemistry for you. There's a strong magnetic attraction here and it's like going specifically in one direction. Ace of Cups here shows that, you know, emotionally they do have feelings for you. They are all going to pour out. They're going to come out. Again, we've got a bird up here as well. We've got birds here. So they feel really free when they're around you. They feel like they can be themselves. That's how they feel. You make them 
feel like they can be themselves and that's something really powerful really really strong that I'm seeing with the ace of cups it's about being emotionally open they feel like they can be more open when they're around you the ten of cups indicates that they can visualize having a family with you they can visualize having marriage with you a future with you so they see that and it emotionally gives them a lot of satisfaction and a lot of happiness as well and fulfillment as well so that's what I'm seeing is that the ten of cups really does you know allow for a lot to come together in that sense because they really feel that you know how do they feel about you they feel like they can have a family with you they feel like they can see the future with you sometimes this can scare them um, that's something the guides are also saying but I am seeing that you know they're much more open to it they're much more receptive to it they feel free as well you make them feel free and much more of themselves and they feel so attracted to you they're just coming in that direction like that magnet that we saw you know coming it together three of pentacles here indicates Teamwork, collaboration, wanting to make things work, they just feel like you guys have this really great sort of connection where you can work together, you can build things, you can overcome obstacles together. It's about teamwork and collaboration. Every relationship, you know, is about teamwork. You've got to make it through things, make it through the days, make it through the difficult times and enjoy things, you know. So that Three of Pentacles is all about making things work. You know, they really feel like you can make things work, they can make things work, they're going to try and make things work with all of that fire energy which is all about taking action. So I do see that this is very, very positive um, and I also do see that they do have a lot of feelings there for you as well. And they're not just surface level, they're very deep as well because you've got two very emotional cards of emotional opening and also thinking about the future as well which they do think about when they think about you they feel like they can have a future with you which is something that they don't feel like they can have with other people so that's what i am seeing so group number three that is your reading i hope you enjoyed it if this resonated with you let me know in yeah let me know in the comment section below don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel if you haven't already thank you so much to those of you who have and check out the description box below for information on the free reading giveaway if you'd like to enter for that the private paid reading I can't even speak the private paid readings if you would like to book one of those and also my bracelets which are on Etsy if you're interested in those you can check them out down below and I'll see you all very very soon bye